Item R, and this is uh, Ms. John Rowe. Thank you, Mayor. I'll try and keep this brief. Um, I won't belabor all the details. I'm sure most of you remember Mr. Guest's presentation from last time, and I imagine he's going to hit some of the highlights here in a minute. Um, but I do want to just say that if your life has not already been touched by an antibiotic-resistant disease, it probably will be at some point. Uh, my mother has fought a MRSA infection. I have a high school friend whose three-year-old son almost died from C. diff, and he will be dealing with the consequences of that for the rest of his life. But the thing is that these deadly infections, there's something we can do about it. And what we can do is call on represent, uh, governmental representatives that are higher up the chain of command. <laughs> And ask for action at the federal level. Um, I am um, aware of Mr. Brainerd's concerns that he raised last time, and there were there would be instances where I actually agree that we should take action locally first. But there are not any um, KFO operations in Georgetown, so for us to just say it within the city limits would be. <laughs> would be an empty gesture. Um, so, and also these diseases <laughs> don't know any boundaries. So a state by state approach would just mean that the, <laughs> there'd be clusters of disease that would, <laughs> sorry would go across the border. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking now and ask that you give this serious consideration and approve this resolution. Where are we 